Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. I sincerely do. I thought I'd get on here today and I'd share with you a piece of who I am and what I'm really about. I know many of you have read my writings and uh, some of you, at least, uh, many of you have listened to previous videos and have probably come up with your own conclusion about who the true Ray is. Well, I know that my videos get long. I'm not uh, ever going to be accused of being short-winded. Although the pulmonary embolisms that I went through certainly, certainly short-winded me for a while. I have received a clean bill of health from the physicians and I praise my universal God for this. He did create us all as healing beings. How grateful I am for that. I do question sometimes why he kept me here or why I chose to stay because in one brief moment when that happened, I felt that all I needed to do was move forward to leave this, to leave Earth. However, I didn't. As I sit here during the 4th of July, we had opted not to participate because we know more today than ever that that entire concept or event is a deception. It's based on a lie. We choose to have our get-togethers, our barbecues, and our fun any other day of the year. And that's what we are going to do from this day, from that day forth. Anyway, in going through many, many, many videos and watching the things that so many of you share, you know, your hopes, your dreams, the news, the events that are taking place, the speculations, the conspiracies, the theories, the, the things that we deem we're sharing are all valuable, all valuable. And in going through them, I found myself questioning my own ideals, pondering on how I really thought about things, my innermost feelings. And I concluded that I have very strong feelings, very, very strong beliefs. And though I don't believe in any specific religion of today, for many, many reasons, I do believe in the universal God, the universal creator of all things, the one man that was placed here on earth with sperm, and the one woman that was placed here after so that more life could be there created. I do believe in that. Anyway, when I look around our world today, I'm troubled. I'm extremely troubled, as are many of you. There are people that are frightened beyond belief, beyond words. People that won't even show their faces on here out of fear. That wouldn't say a word out of fear. What a fear. So I decided my position. I reached into myself and pulled out everything I believe. I went into the bathroom. I looked into the mirror. I looked deep into my own eyes. I asked that one question, who am I really? And I came up with some answers that I want to share. Because who is the true Ray, really? So I wrote this morning. 
and I want to share with you. Now I do ask that if my writing goes on too long and you watch those minutes and seconds consuming up your time and if you deem it not valuable enough to listen to for any length of time, please move on. Please go somewhere else where you can find what it is you need, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel complete. That's important. I don't deem that anything I say is of great value. It's just my opinions, my thoughts, my feelings that I share in hope of finding those out there that feel as I do, reaching out for the common denominator between you and I, the you and the me. That's what I'm here for. Those that think as I do, that feel as I do, or those that I can touch with my love. Because believe me, friends, I am a being of love, nothing more. I love everybody. I share in comments love and hugs because that's what I feel, and I feel it. I sincerely do. Do not comment if you did not listen to the whole video because a message is not complete until the last word is spoken. And all too often in comments, I can see that the person didn't even get my message because perhaps they didn't have time for my lengthy video. I apologize for the length. However, as I said, I am not short-winded. So now I quit rambling and I share with you what I wrote. I love you all. For those of you that stay with me, thank you. And those of you that must go because you don't have time, thank you. And I love you. And I'll catch you another time. I begin. The title of what I wrote, Let Me Be My Universal God's Assistant, please. Instructions are not always easy to follow. <laughs> no, they sure aren't. In fact, ask any daddy and mama or grandma and grandpa that have purchased a new swing set or a tricycle for their precious grandchild or child and have to follow the scripted, in several languages, how-to step-by-step instructions. The task can be very unnerving and all too often leave the adults at each other's throats from the overconsumption of frustration. Though we have had instructions sitting before us in plain view since the beginning of time, we have failed to take heed and to utilize the very powers that we all have by right of our birth. Rather, we have functioned on hand-me-down falsities programmed by dark evildoers that with a plan have worked diligently against all that is great and good, all too often, even to the point of denial of truth, of the facts that are easily misconstrued by the controllers who mean only harm to us. One can only imagine the frustration that would be involved in trying to follow the instructions given by our Universal Creator if he or she were handing the task over to any one of us with written details on how to fix our world. A world that by all we see appears to have been thrown into a blender where everything is so mixed up, completely out of balance, and scrambled beyond what many believe fixable at best. Fact is, the majority of YouTubers alone 
think the world to be a helpless, useless cause. Throwing their hands up, shrugging their shoulders, and taking on the I give up position. The easy out, walking away and not looking back. Almost as if by doing so, if they don't look, the problems will resolve themselves, or better yet, all will end, and they will not have had anything to do with it. Simply watch a few of your favorite channel's videos, the bad news, the hopeless situations taking place, the disasters taking place, and those just around the bend about to annihilate so many. Events that by all means of reason, we, the humans, can do nothing about. How hopeless that is. How hopeless we must feel. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, if there is nothing that we can do about any of it, then it would justify that horrible, hopeless feeling, wouldn't it? Today, I wish to take on the job of God's assistant. I do. I wish to take on the job of God's assistant. I have asked if I may, although I have not heard a reply. However, I trust that I am by birth and by free will given the authority to do just that, to do all that I can to make this world that we live in a better place. The instructions come in many languages. In fact, every language. I have to find the one that I can understand because of where I landed when I entered Earth during my birth. So I pick English. To start with, I must look around at everything that I can see with my own two eyes, that I can hear with my ears, and that I can feel with my instinct. I must see the faces of people in every mood or emotion that they are feeling to better understand how this now is affecting the humans around me. I mean, if I cannot help, I mean, I cannot help if I do not understand what other people are feeling. This is relating to others. It is the easiest way to understand and feel what they feel. A virtue called empathy. Once I achieve this, I must look at all the events that have taken place and those taking place today. How they affect all the living things. I mean the droughts, for instance, do not just limit water for thirsty humans, but animals, plants, and Mother Earth. The mighty trees are moaning with pains of thirst, dying a horrible death while we look on. Let me not forget those little bees who work so diligently to assure us that our vegetation will be pollinated and grow to their greatness, ensuring that people and animals and even little insects, all, will have nutritious foods to sustain their lives. Yes, all creatures, big and small, play a big part in the health of all. All for all. 
as much as I do not want to see, to look into the faces of evil, I must, I have to, in order to see what they are doing. Most likely never finding out the why to what they are doing, but understanding the effects of their actions, that no matter how great their plan is, I might find a way around them, a way to build an even bigger plan to counteract their dark plans that are destroying, that are by design even meant to end life here on earth. For me, this is a very important task, one I must be able to achieve if I can. Once I get my research finished and I have my troubleshooting list, I then must look for any and all options available to my disposal to which I can implement a set of instructions on what I need to do to make change, to rebalance or fix the things that have our world so out of control so far out of balance, unhealthy and corrupted. Had I not looked around with an open mind, opened eyes, ears, and my instinct, I could by no means even begin to help or to be in this case an assistant I would be ignorant, unknowing, uneducated, perhaps even dumbed down to the needs. My list is a long one, and friends, I mean long. One might think it overwhelming. I mean far too much for one person, yet... It is my list. I did, in fact, collect and log each thing that I personally deemed needing to be repaired right now. Things such as ending wars, replacing hate with love. This would call for a touching of the heart of every person in the military, that they might better understand the control that they are under. Hold on, please. They must understand the control that they are under for them to understand. That's a big step. Ending the planes that fly overhead, polluting the air that we have, precious air that we need to breathe. Wondering if the pilots, pilots, or in case they're drones, the people controlling them, also have hearts that need to be touched with love for all mankind, for all living things including Earth. Ending the monetary corrupt system that prevents most people from living comfortable. That's a big one. So many people are attracted to money. And in the system that we have, it is needed. So we need some kind of system that takes away the corruptness where everyone would have their fair share. Ending the scientific experiments meant to end life as we know it. There's no doubt about those. Nuclear power is one. Just one of many. We need to end that. Radiation is everywhere in our world today. 
because of an accident. Or maybe not an accident. Ending the corrupt institutions that we call religions that have been by design for control of mankind only and often used against little children. That must stop. Religions that are also by design for the division of people. There is not one church that I know of that accepts a different doctrine as being okay to each their own. So the foundation of religion is corrupt. That must be ended. And that has nothing to do with loving our universal creator, our universal God, our Father in heaven. Ending the corrupt raping of people for simple life-sustaining needs as well as comforts such as water and energy, which is provided by the universe, yet is polluted, hidden, and used for greed. These things need to be freed and taken care of, cleaned up, and kept clean. Ending division of people by putting true balance into their lifestyles and needs. Equal shares of all needs spread out worldwide. Worldwide, my friends, we should be giving to anybody that needs. They should have exactly what we have. They certainly should. Ending division of people by putting the true balance into the lifestyles and the needs. Think about that, please. The American child and the African or Samoan child having the same foods, nutritional foods, and medical needs equally. The same clothing and shoes as well for all children. Removing, removing the hidden truths of poisoned foods by corrupt corporations who have no concern or care for life and placing those guilty in a position to consume their own poisons. Yes, they should consume their own poisons, not us. Destroying all crops that are contaminated by such science and replanting for organic healthy foods worldwide. Drilling must be done for fresh water for any country living in droughts. Any and all systems engineered to provide clean water must be placed in areas of need at no expense to the people. Water truly is life-sustaining, and it's a gift from our universal God, from the universe itself, from Mother Earth and should never be charged for. The technology is and should be used for the people and not for profit or financial gain. Breaking bread with each other to ensure that no one goes hungry in a world where so much food is tossed into dumpsters and garbage cans of those who deem themselves worthy of more than any other. 
putting an end to the bigger than God technologies that by their own ignorance are destroying Earth's natural cycles and the health of all living things. Those that are, mis are misused on purpose to create droughts, earthquakes, floods, and destruction in the attempt to depopulate our world. Hoping to have a world that they and they alone own. Technologies such as HARP, genetic engineering of food sources, and let us not forget geoengineering and fracking the very technologies used as weapons against the human race and all living things, not excluding Mother Earth herself. By the powers invested in me, given to me at birth, I will these things to begin and will speak these things into existence with every ounce of energy that I as one being can. <coughs> Excuse me. That I, as one being, can. I may need help, as I am but one of so, so many humans that by the same design are capable of assisting the rebalancing and fixing of our world. To apply for this assistant position, simply ask our Universal Creator for strength. Then pick up the list or create your own. The more power that we together can create, the more power the dark and evil will lose. Should you disagree or find that you are unable, unable to join me, I do pray that you will reap the benefits should my troubleshooting plan work to repair, fix, or rebalance our world. I do hope that no matter who you are, or where you are, that you reap the benefits, the benefits of the Garden of Eden, that we can make Earth whole again. I pray that our universal God will help me to see, hear, and utilize my birthright of being created in God's image to implement enough energy to make the difference. I hope that you can also find the desire and the love and that you join me. I love you all very much. Great big hugs. And friends, thank you. Thank you for being you in my now. What a difference you make. Later.